What is up everybody, Marky here, and today I wanted to go through some tips and tricks for game collecting that has really helped me grow my collections in the past year, year and a half, and hopefully will help you guys as well. Game collecting, and especially in 2023, can be very difficult at times and kind of crazy. You know, what are you collecting for really matters as well. So hopefully this helps you guys. And if it does, I'll make some more videos about this in the future. So I'd say the first thing and the biggest thing, especially if you're collecting for modern consoles, the biggest thing that's really helped me is use social media to your advantage. Now I know a lot of people may love social media, may not love social media, but it's really helped me grow my collection and save a lot of money, especially in the past year, two years when I started doing this. So what I do and what I recommend other people doing is use your favorite uh, social media platform. In my case, it is X or Twitter and follow accounts that post about gaming sales, when games going on sales, when Amiibo are dropping, or when just when different things that interest you in terms of game collecting, you know, drop in price, go on sale, are back in stock. Uh, super, super important for me and how I've been able to grow my collection. Um, one thing that I definitely recommend is when you're buying games, especially new games, Make sure that you buy games that you actually are going to play um, and don't really look for the monetary value, something that will grow in value over time. Uh, the biggest thing for me is I want to play the games that I'm collecting and buying eventually, add them to my backlog. Uh, this is not coming from a perspective of somebody who's hoping to resell uh, the games eventually. So these are all tips and tricks on how to save money really and not reselling at all. So, um, but definitely there are so many uh, Twitter accounts or X accounts that you can follow. Uh, one, for example, I use is Wario64. He posts daily, you know, a lot of tweets on different video game and collecting items that will either go on sale or is out. He'll uh, you know, tweet out when a, a console, a special edition console or a special edition item goes on sale so you can be like one of the first people to get there and um, and buy it because, you know, especially special edition items, they go out of stock super quickly. So like I said, use social media to, to your advantage and follow accounts that will let you know when things are in stock, when they go on sale. Uh, things of that nature, or you know, when Amiibo is back up, and this will really help you save money, right? When things are going on sale, and also collect things that you really want. For example, um, I was able to get you know the Pokemon uh, Switch, the OLED model, uh, as soon as it went on sale because I saw a tweet go out. I had my notifications on, and then they provide the link, so you just click on the link and you purchase the item that you want. Uh, so that's been really, really helpful for me, and hopefully it might be helpful for you and one of my biggest tips for sure. Um, another tip that I have is definitely use your location to your advantage. And when I say that, that means that some people might have video game, retro game stores around your location. Uh, if you're looking for older games, I definitely recommend going to retro game stores and getting a feel for that kind of thing because those can be a great place to build your collection. Uh, ordering online is great and has its advantages, but there's nothing like actually going to a store and looking at the item and saying, oh, this is in good condition. This has the manual, this has the disc, the cartridge, and um, you know, this is something that I would, I would like to purchase because you're actually viewing it in your hands. Like make sure you, you know, take a look at it yourself. and. And so use your location for your advantage. Go on Google Maps or, uh, you know, Apple Maps and find uh, retro game stores in your location. Go and, and um, check out games. It's also a good way to see, you know, what games you would actually like to get, um, retro games that you would actually like to get, and some that um, you didn't even know about. Um, so that, that's something that I recommend. But I also recommend that if you can't, if you don't have a retro store game around you and you need to you know, use the online, I found that honestly eBay is the best thing to do when building and collecting older games. Um, 
But uh, when you are on eBay, make sure that you are taking advantage of, uh, I think it's like make an offer, like sort your, if you're looking for a specific game, uh, definitely sort for uh, sellers that are, let you make an offer because you may, you might be able to kind of barter with them and get a better offer than if, um, and then, than if you didn't. So you might be able to save some money there. Also, uh, bidding on games. So, you know, if you've got to wait a couple days to wait for, to wait for, um, you know, an item to end and, uh, bidding on something, you might also be able to save some money too, because, uh, uh what I've found that items that are being bid for usually go for a lower price than if it was just like a buy it now. Um, so like I said, eBay is a really great tool. Um, if you're looking to buy older games online that obviously you can't buy from, you know, GameStop or like Amazon or, um, yeah, don't buy used games from uh, GameStop. That's, they're usually in terrible condition. They don't come with the box. They don't, especially if you're looking to collect games complete in box, GameStop is not, not and it shouldn't really be an option for, for retro games, uh, in my opinion. Um, so definitely online. eBay, in my opinion, is the, I know there's Mercari and that works for some people, but in my opinion, eBay is the best. Uh, use social media to your advantage. You know, Instagram, I know there's accounts that you can follow. Facebook, in my case, I use Twitter, which is now X, um, and follow accounts that um, post things. Also, there are a couple of web websites that do restocks for games, uh, especially for the Switch, um, and that is Video Games Plus and PNP, I believe it is, which are both Canadian retailers and websites that ship to the US. So if you're living in the US, you can use that. Uh, and they do restocks of out of stock games. For example, um, I just bought Trials to Azure from VGP as they did a restock and that game is super hard to find. And if you're trying to get it on, on eBay, uh, you're gonna pay way more than retail value for that game. Um, so those two retailers are really great if you're collecting for Switch and looking for some restocks on games that are out of stock. Um, speaking of that, there are some certain um, developers or um, harder to find developers, uh, like for example from Japan, that use NIS America to sell their games. Uh, so if you like JRPGs or uh, Japanese-centric games, um, NIS America is one of the main developers, or um, outsourcers for the for those uh, titles here in North America. So if you really like um, games that are published published by NIS America, definitely get them uh, while you can when they're on sale. Like don't wait for a drop in price because for those titles, like for example the trials the trails games um, that NIS America publishes, they are not going to go on sale uh, really ever. So. Don't wait for sales for those, but for most Nintendo published games, Square Enix games, um, I don't know why, like publishers like that, uh, especially like for the Switch, um, they do go on sale quite often. And, and then if you're buying games for, let's say the Xbox or the PlayStation, uh, for the most part, those games are also definitely probably not gonna go out of print um, and also a lot of times those games uh, do go on sale. Um, so Xbox and PlayStation um, users and collectors, um, those games are definitely gonna go in on sale more often and be cheaper than say Switch titles, uh, which uh, go on sale less, especially Nintendo published games. Uh, but again, using those resources on social media to let you know when the game goes on sale um, is really helpful and can save you some money for sure. Um, so I think I've covered everything that I wanted to in this video, uh, just as like a start. Like I said, the biggest thing that you can do is just get yourself acquainted with um, when, th when items go on sale, when let's say Amiibo are back in stock. Um, and using social media is a great tool. Going to retro game stores in your location uh, and getting games that way so you can actually look at them and um, 
you know, look at the contents, make sure the disc is in good condition is a great tool and really uh, helpful. And then if you don't have any stores or you, the stores don't have the games that you're looking for, eBay, so, you know, um, waiting for bids to end, um, and then also making offers to, um, to sellers to get, you know, for cheaper than they're asking uh, is also really helpful. If you like this video and you want some more tips and tricks, uh, definitely let me know and I can uh, make some more. Right now, personally, I'm collecting for the Switch, uh, the Wii U, the Wii, the DS, the 3DS, and GameCube. So those are the consoles that I'm collecting for, and honestly, because they're Nintendo consoles, they're a little, little harder to collect for than, let's say, you know, PlayStation or Xbox, but there are still definitely some harder to find games, especially for, for PlayStation consoles. Um, a great tool, I guess, last tip, great tool is price charting. It's a, um, it's a website that prices games. So if you look up the game on the website, it'll show you the prices. So, you know, whether it's complete in box or just the disc or the cartridge, uh, or it's new, it'll show, it'll give you the full price uh, for everything. So, you know, going into whatever you're purchasing that you're getting the, you know, market value uh, of what, whatever it is. So, um, definitely look it up. I think it's, if you, if you can Google, uh, you know, game pricing, prices charting, uh, the website will come up. And then I definitely recommend bookmarking that website and saving it, especially if you're going to like uh, a video game store or even a convention. A convention is a great way to look for uh, retro games or hard to, harder to find games. Um, using that tool is really great. So, you know, you're not getting uh, ripped off. So, I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, uh, I'll make more. And um, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good one, guys. Peace.